the mysteries of the Atlantic Ocean continue to deepen. Scientists are now baffled by two mind-blowing discoveries made on one of the oldest marine creatures on Earth. Creatures that once shared oceans with prehistoric dinosaurs, survived two mass extinctions, and managed to evolve into one of the ocean's most dominant predators. For years, we've known very little about sharks, but all this could change as these thought-provoking discoveries could be the key to unlocking the biological features of these ancient creatures, which they've adapted from millions of years of evolution. Now, did you know that some shark species can live up to 400 years? Believe it or not, sharks are the oldest living vertebrates in the world. They can live for so long that they eventually end up blind. And it's not because of cataracts, but from a parasite that digs itself into the cornea of the shark's eye and damages its vision. That's one of the reasons why you might come across a shark with milky white eyes. These are some of the oldest sharks in the ocean. While sharks love to make a meal out of different species of fish and squid, they've been known to scavenge the carcasses of polar bears, reindeer, and even horses that die on the beach. But as far as hunting goes, most sharks are ambush predators, circling below unsuspecting prey before lunging at them with their saw-like teeth. Rarely do they attack humans, but when they do, it's usually a case of the shark mistaking you for a seal. The second exciting discovery about sharks can be traced to the temperate coastal waters of the Caribbean. A Greenland shark was strangely spotted here, thousands of miles from its known range. While the world is almost always full of wonder and mystery, this was a sighting that scientists had not anticipated in decades. Why was this shark swimming so far away from home? According to the lead scientist Devanshi Kasana, who is currently pursuing a doctoral program at the Florida International University. The discovery was both surprising and exciting. With an experienced crew of Belizean fishermen by her side, Kasana and her team unknowingly captured the shark while embarking on a tiger shark tagging expedition. They proudly announced their discovery in the July Journal of Marine Biology. But taking a DNA sample of the Greenland shark proved tough, as the massive animal put up quite the fight. However, Kasana did manage to snap up a few photos of this magnificent creature. These photos show a unique feature about sharks and their distribution around the world. They also challenge a previous school of thought, where it was widely believed that Greenland sharks could only live in the icy waters north of the Atlantic Ocean. Is it possible that they can now adapt to different aquatic environments? This amazing sighting took place in the world's second longest barrier reef. Greens Reef, located on the southern coast of Belize. During the study, Kasana was looking to tag a few tiger sharks in order to observe their ecology and activity around these waters. The weather was exceptionally gloomy that day, and the crew was about to call it quits when nature decided to give them an adventure. They started to pull in their reels, and voila, a powerful Greenland shark was hooked to the line. Kasana was shocked. She immediately knew that this finding would shake up the marine community and other scientists. Unfortunately, the hydraulic reel fastened to the line was jammed, making it impossible to bring the shark onto the boat. But after a series of painstaking attempts, the team managed to pull the shark to the surface. When they first saw it, Kasana and her team had no idea what they were looking at. The species was unrecognizable, even with Kasana's wide knowledge of marine biodiversity. She figured perhaps Perhaps it was a six-gill shark, a reserved creature that usually lives in deep ocean waters throughout the globe. Still unable to put a finger on it, Kasana decided to get in touch with her PhD advisor, Demian Chapman, and sent him a few photos. After a thorough review, Mr. Chapman correctly identified it as a Greenland shark. But the question remains, what was it doing this far away from the Arctic Ocean? Greenland sharks are one of the largest sharks in the world. Like their cousins, the Great White, they can measure up to 23 feet in length and weigh more than one ton. These marine animals are active predators and can hunt anything from squid, fish, and even seals. So, it's possible that this shark could have been hunting for prey this far south but they mostly scavenge, 
and will chow on the remains of large mammals that have settled on the seabed. Oh, and did we also mention that they are the shark species that hold the title of the oldest living vertebrates in the world? Recent studies by scientists show that these creatures can live up to 400 years, based on the analysis of a 272-year-old individual discovered off the coast of Greenland. By radiocarbon dating the protein in the shark's eyes, specifically the tissue located in the center of their eyes, scientists can estimate the age of the shark. These majestic beasts also hold the title of the largest fish in the Arctic Ocean. They're the only sharks to be found year-round in these cold, icy waters. While scientists have no idea the exact population of Greenland sharks in the wild, they're thought to be experiencing a massive decline in numbers due to disruption and destruction of their natural habitat. According to the International Union for Conservation of Nature, Greenland sharks are classified as vulnerable. In terms of sightings, most of them are spotted in waters up to 7,200 feet deep and can tolerate temperatures ranging from minus 2 to 7 degrees Celsius. They prefer to live in these cold waters because they've developed features to adapt to their cold and dark environment. For example, they swim slowly to conserve energy. These also have tissues that contain high levels of chemical compounds, which exhibit antifreeze features, preventing ice from forming on their skin. So for Kasana and her team, Capturing a Greenland shark in the temperate Caribbean waters of Belize was like stumbling across a pot full of gold. Nevertheless, there have been incidents of sleeper sharks like the Greenland spotted as far south as the equator a handful of times. As of now, Kasana's photos are extremely valuable to the scientific community. Greenland sharks are elusive, so there's almost no information about these ancient beasts away from the Arctic Ocean. Observations such as these help us understand and the behavior of these sharks, as well as other solitary shark species. They'll also enable scientists to fill up biological gaps about the evolution and distribution of sharks, something that has puzzled them for quite a while now. While the Caribbean waters are miles away from the Arctic, they are also pretty cold. So in a sense, the Atlantic can be suitable for Greenland sharks, but the idea of a sleeper shark swimming this far out seems impossible. There's also the deeper question. What immediate need could have driven this Greenland shark to roam so far away from its natural waters? The mystery continues. In the words of Dave Ebert, a shark biologist and a distinguished author of the novel Sharks Around the World, there are a lot of hidden secrets about the deep seas of the Caribbean that we have little knowledge about. About. And so, discovering these secrets will take a lot of effort. Scientists will have to invest more of their time and resources in studying ancient sharks currently swimming in the region. In fact, the Belizean government recently upgraded three of its atolls as protected regions for its most prized animal. The sharks are a tourist attraction, and shark lovers from around the world love to flock here to see these creatures gliding majestically in the water. The government has further expressed its excitement about this amazing discovery, as it could potentially trigger more expeditions to the region. As for Kasana, she hopes to continue discovering other solitary creatures that could be lurking in the ocean depths of Glover's Reef. What do you think about these recent shark discoveries? 